The following KQED production was produced in high definition. Good physicians pride themselves on their training and experience to diagnose and then treat a patient's illness. Given the high stakes, you wouldn't leave medical diagnosis up to a machine, right? Well, according to Stanford University's Daphne Kohler, that machine may be smarter than you think. People are implicitly sometimes, often without realizing it, using probabilities in their head. And the way in which they're doing that is that they are figuring out different for different pieces of evidence how much weight they contribute to different conclusions and then they're aggregating those in very subtle ways that allows them to take a lot of pieces of evidence that by themselves are not definitive and um, reach informed conclusions. If everything goes well and this particular medicine, kind of reasoning go ahead is ahead. now cropping up in artificial intelligence through the use of Bayesian probability theory that allows us to um, explore the uncertainty and the inevitable noise that encompasses us and the world around us and to put together little bits of information that are by themselves not definitive in order to reach much more informed conclusions. Now one of the interesting phenomena that have um, been that have emerged from the introduction of these probabilistic frameworks into the field of artificial intelligence and specifically into the field of medical diagnosis is that a well-designed computer system is actually better at that even than an expert physician. And one of the reasons, perhaps the primary reason, is even an expert physician is capable of keeping in their mind maybe the eight or ten most significant pieces of information while making a diagnosis. Now, a good doctor will choose the right eight or ten, but it's still only eight or ten, whereas a computer system can keep track of dozens. And even the ones that carry less information value than the top eight or ten are still valuable. And by putting together these weaker pieces of evidence and aggregating them all together, you could actually do better even than the expert physician. These systems can actually out-diagnose the experts who design them. And that's what we're hoping to build on. By taking um, these techniques that people do implicitly in their head, formalizing them, putting them into a computer system, and then allowing the computer system to outperform even the human. And it doesn't end there. How about an AI-powered job recruiter? So the toy example here is trying to figure out, say, if you're a job recruiter, whether a particular student is smart or not so smart, whether you want to hire him or not. So here is the student, and a priori we think that most of the people who go to a place like Stanford are pretty smart, so the probability of high intelligence is 0.8, low intelligence is 0.2, and then we look at the person's grade transcripts and we see that he took one class and got an A, so the probability that he's smart goes up, took another class, got a C, so the probability goes goes down, but it's only the one class, so you can't jump to conclusions, so it's still pretty high, it's still about 70%. And now if you start looking at the patterns in this data set, you see, for example, that a whole bunch of students took this class and all of them got A's except for the student. And in fact, even this guy over here who managed to get a C in every other class that he took managed to ace this one. And so putting together that putting together that information, you sort of realize that probably this is a really easy class, so you had to really do poorly in order to fail in it. And that's going to completely change the probability profile that we have for this student and, and for the, the probability that his intelligence is only 25%. There's that old saw, the right tool for the right job. In today's digital age, AI may be one tool that's nimble enough for lots of jobs. And it may even help find the right person for the job. Keep Quest free. Discover more and donate at kqed.org quest.